Hello boys and girls of the internet, it's Ninjas R Us here. Today I am bringing you a video on slums. We are playing Domination. I use the Type 25 and the MSMC on this map. I'm not going to tell you what the specific perk setup and all that, mainly because I don't know what the specific perk setup and that stuff is. So I do apologize for my stupidity and unprofessionalness, but oh well. So what this video is about, it's... It's just about paintball, you know. I've been paintballing a lot. Uh, my season, quote-unquote season, started uh, at Living Legends two weeks ago, and I've been playing every weekend since. By that, I mean I played last weekend also, and I just want to talk about it. So I'm going to start with the Living Legends update. And as you all know, I made the video uh, when I was about to go on Friday about how I'm going to Living Legends. You know, come up to me if you are there and just say hi, whatever. But I want to just let you know on like how it ended and what Living Legends actually is for those of you that don't know. So it ended with the victory for the New Empire, which was the team that I was fighting on. Uh, the general was Wolf. Uh, for those of you that don't know, he's a very popular paintball channel. And we won by some ridiculous amount. I'm not sure what it was. It was like 900 to 100 and something, 200 and something. I'm not sure. But it was a really big difference. Uh, we outnumbered them by quite a bit on Saturday. But then Sunday it evened out a little bit more. So it was more of a fair fight. It's basically reversed from what it was last year. Last year, the Empire, which I was fighting for also, we were outnumbered by a lot. but <laughs> And then we lost by quite a bit. But, you know, whatever happens, happens. And, uh... Eh, sorry. I was yawning a little bit there, but I tried to stifle it. But anyway... So we were just fighting, um, and it was really fun. But the thing was, people weren't hung up on the score, right? Everyone was a winner in that. I mean, sure, people want to win, and they're fighting to win, and, you know, all that stuff. Everyone's going for the victory. They're still competitive. But that's not the main focus. The main focus isn't winning. The main focus is going out there, kicking some butt, playing paintball, having fun, meeting new people. I mean, it's just a brotherhood when you're out there. It's not people that hate each other that are, like, fighting against each other, which is a common misconception. They think paintball's, you know, violent, but it's not. It's brothers and, like, sisters and just friends, everyone out there, and they're just running around shooting each other in the butt. But it was just really fun, and that was the thing. You know, I met a bunch of new people, some on my team, some on different teams, but that didn't matter. It was all about how much fun you were having. How, you know, you're going out there doing something you love against people that are really cool, really nice, and you meet a bunch of new friends that hopefully, you know, you stay in contact with and you play with them later on. So, uh, what Living Legends is, for those of you that don't know, it's a big scenario game. Um, there were about 2,000 people there this year, and how it's run is they have two teams, each run by a specific general, and then they have, like, lieutenants and you know, officers and whatever running different squads, and there are missions. Um, the people that are running the, like, event this year was Viper, I think, was running it, yeah. And uh, they send specific missions to each team, and it's like, oh, this team has to stop them from controlling this thing or bringing this back to their base while this team has to go and get that. And the generals and then their, uh, like, officers, they delegate who goes where and does what. And whichever team has the most points at the end clearly wins, and they get the points by completing the objectives, and they stop other teams from getting points by stopping them from getting the objectives. And, you know, it's that simple. And then they have specific, uh, they're sort of weird games, is my way of putting it, like the dinner battle and the final battle, which are, there's like two towns, Armageddon, which is like a bombed out city, and Bedlam, which is basically a current town. It's basically your middle America just average town and they're fighting over hill that separates between them and they have these slap sticks and you score different points with them like depending on how much you control and it's just this really fun light-hearted game that gets a lot of like adrenaline flowing because there's so many people playing it's a thousand people versus a thousand people fighting over one small hill in a small area and it's really fun and those are worth different points and different objectives and they basically just mosh all them together add the points and the winner is the one that has the most points at the end of the game now what what happened was during the dinner battle which is basically a prerequisite of the final battle i explained it earlier um 
that I went barrel tagging in. I left my gun at my table. I just unscrewed my barrel and went out there, and I actually got one. I reached over this hill where you can't get past the enemy lines, right? It's not like Call of Duty where you can sneak behind them. No. There is a physical wall of people. So I just climbed to the top of the hill, like uh, army climbed, got to this like huge pipe, which is, was used as a bunker. And there were people on both sides. So then what I did is I just reached my arm over with the barrel in hand, Poked the guy in the back with it, and I got shot after doing that. But I still got him out. I got a barrel tag. Everyone was freaking out. Everyone that I told, everyone that knew what happened. Because I'm just like, I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to get barrel tagged during the dinner battle. And they're like, what? No, no, you're not. And I'm like, yes, I am. So I did. And that was a blast. And during the final battle, I brought my gun out. But I didn't use it much, if that makes any sense. I was running up. I was going for the slapsticks, which are how you score points. And I was diving for him, and I was getting lit up, all right? People are scared to go up there. Understandably, it was really painful. You're getting shot like 30 or 40 times when you go up there. But it's so worth it, because when you're just hiding in the back like a little coward almost, it's not fun. Plus, you're doing more damage to your team than help, because I don't know how many times I got friendly fired, but it was a lot. Because people were just sitting in the back and firing over the hill, which didn't work very well. But it was awesome. Then at this one point, I just stood up. And started firing over the top of the hill, getting as many people as I could. And I got like six people before they finally got me out. Which was surprising, because usually the second someone like shows the smallest part of their body, they get shot out. But that didn't happen for me, which I was very grateful for. So that's basically my wrap-up of Living Legends. Uh, I hope you go next year, Living Legends 7. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. But now I'm going to talk about something else that I noticed. Uh, Webdog Paintball. Uh, he's a pretty popular paintball channel. Uh, I don't think he does actual paintball videos, but it's more like analysis of paintball and like the current state of the sport. He did a video analyzing the new trailer for the Die Dam, which is the new up-and-coming really good gun uh, marketed by, da by Die. Ugh. They're made and marketed by Die, and the new video that came out. It showed basically one guy taking on the world in every scene, and he was talking about how, well, that's not how it should be. They used to run, like, ads w talking about, like, teamwork, showing people no matter how minor the actual, like, maneuver was, it was still a team maneuver, and they were showing how much of a team sport paintball is. And that's true. That's how it is, at least with woods ball. With speed ball, it's always been more of a, uh, not self-centered, but it's more like, focusing on yourself like oh how did i do you know i got this many people out i did this as opposed to worrying about the team and how the team is doing and you know all stuff like that but with woods ball it's always been more team oriented and that's what he was talking about because this is marketed it's more of a woods ball gun it's milsim basically and they were talking about just why is it going like this and he was trying to figure out why but he couldn't think of it well I just want to share my personal experience with this. I went paintballing this weekend with, um, I think I had like four or five people there, and it was a bunch of, we brought some new people out, I think two or three people that never played paintball before in their life, and we just had a huge blast. But one thing that stuck out in my mind is me and my friend Pam, we went barrel tagging on the town of Bedlam. If you've ever been to CPX Sports, you know, it's basically a town. It's the one I was talking about earlier, the just slice of America, you know, just normal town. Well, I, we were going barrel tagging on that. So this one guy was pushing around a building as I was pushing up to the building. So I go into the building. There's no one there, but there's a guy behind it. So the guy who pushed around it shot him. And apparently he shot him like four or five times. You know, not bonus ball level where you're just like trying to hurt the guy, but enough to the point where like it was maybe a little bit more, but it wasn't something that you should be yelling about. Bonus balling is where they just like keep firing even though they know they're out. He just shot enough to make sure that to make sure they broke, you know, to make sure that this guy was out. So the guy just, the guy that got shot starts, like, this huge fight about it. I got shot out. I got friendly fired. It was whatever. Like, right as I was walking into the building, someone saw me and shot me. He thought I was on the enemy team, but that wasn't big. But the guy that got shot out, he was freaking out. He was, like, trying to start a fist fight with the guy. He was, like, pulling on the guy's shirt as he was, like, trying to fire at someone else. And he was just yelling, he's like, I'm going to keep this PG, but he's like, you mother effer, why'd you do that? That was way too much. You couldn't just shoot me once, you son of a, you know, he was just like freaking out. He was yelling and it was just ridiculous. And I'm just like, dude, relax. I mean, I can understand people get mad at little parts in the game. Like I'm guilty of this. Everyone's guilty of this. When you're in the heat of the battle and something go goes like wrong that you don't exactly like 
and you freak out a little bit. That's understandable. But the level he did it, that wasn't the only time. I saw him, and he kept doing that. Every time he got shot out, he was focused so much on himself that he didn't pay any attention to the overall team aspect of the game. And that's what I've been noticing. It's been happening more and more within, like, the industry of paintball. I don't want to talk about it as an industry. It's a sport, and it's like a group of people that just doing what they love. But within the sport of paintball, people have been getting a lot more self-centered, and I don't like it. All right, guys. Uh, that's all. That's just it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a pretty good gameplay, I think. I come up from behind. Remember, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe if you want some more. Um, I, I seem to get a lot of love on my Call of Duty videos, so like it if you did enjoy it. We came out with the win. Remember, follow me on Twitter if you want to stay in contact with me. I'll put all the links in the description. And, you know, just remember, guys, stay beautiful. I love you all. Adio. Now I'm going to leave you with this beautiful final kill cam and the score. Goodbye, guys. I love you. Mwah!